Hey, I think we're live, and I wanted to go ahead and touch base on a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. We've had lots of great rain, but as you can tell, since the last rain, I lost quite a bit of water out of the original filling, which is what it amounts to. Um, I'm filling up Dragon's Lair, for some of you that were following along, as part of one of my earth sculptures. You can see the dragon over there. See the eyes? It's a beautiful, calm day. I'm going to try to go ahead and get the drone up because you can see there's like no wind hardly at all. We've had rain a couple days in a row. We'll probably have more, but this is to the south of us. That band is trekking. And I guess we're going to get some rain from Javier and some of the other things that are going on west, way west of us. These are odd times for the weather, for those of you who aren't paying attention. And I wanted to go ahead and talk to you all about why you're here, why am I here, and how long that might be so that each of us can make decisions as we go along. How are you going to package things up and tidy things and make your old world situate? Pack away those things you don't need, sell them off, downsize, prepare. And I say prepare, prepare for what? People used to say, ah, preppers, they're just crazy. No, no. I don't think we're all crazy. No, I think you need water. And I think you need land. See, this will have vines growing up as soon with plants and water so that you can feed them and water coming from the top. And then later we'll come through and pick them um, easily if we want, if nothing else, even by using a rope with a little seat and like, you know, just bounce along there and pick them up. You can put pots in there and plants in there and have all this filled with food once you have water. Now water's a key in Texas. It's a key anywhere. And when you have drought, water is even more important. So when you go to do a homestead or when you go to do a place for tiny houses, yeah, hey, it has something to do with tiny houses. Imagine that. Hey guys, anybody watching? Hey, Annette. Oh, well, Thank you, I'm glad to be here today. As you can imagine, every day is a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, I had a interesting dream last night, you could call it. Now, there are lots of things we're supposed to do in life. That's the reason we're here. It might be one mere utterance that changes the course of another person's lifetime. Some of the stuff we do, we can never see. This is hard to realize. Because sometimes it seems like nothing happens. Nothing changes. That's what I love about crafting the earth. Look. See the eye of the dragon. Down underneath. There it is. Well, that... Oh, I forgot to turn that down. I need to stop that, don't I? Okay, I do want to go ahead and to, if nothing else, I guess, I can't really make that go away right now. Um, hey, hi Mary, how you doing? Nice to see you today. Okay, I was just showing the eye of the dragon. I gotta expand it back up again, okay. So you're down in Dragon's Lair. You've never seen this one, Mary, you've never been here for this. This is what I dug last year, and that's where I had the little birthday down in that cave. It's still about six feet of water in there, five feet. You can go underneath there, but a little spooky. Way over there used to be just flat ground. This has all been dug out now. We're going to have a house. I drew the house up there. And some people saw the little cartoons I'm doing. That's how you show what your imagination is. And then how you transform your imagination into something while you're here on the planet incarnate being that example, hopefully that others will look at one day and go, wow, how he do that? If he could do it, I could do it. And if he could do it, I could do it better. Is that not the best reason in the world to do things that nobody else thinks you can do so that others will understand it's possible? The four minute mile when I was a kid is three minutes and 46 seconds now. Ah, there comes Rocky, uh-oh. Did you bring a toy? Uh-oh. No toy. Huh. Too bad. I'm going to go up here a second because this is where I have that picture drawn. Now in that picture, 
You'll see Dragon's Lodge. And Dragon's Lodge is going to be over here. There is the roof of Dragon's Lodge. Now, Dragon's Lodge, for everybody else, is just a cartoon. Just like this. It's a fantasy. You can't even tell yet. You can go underneath that cave. That's the entrance. <coughs> so, in the process of life and living it well, the idea is to go ahead and make an impression you can leave behind. It's meaningful. And that occurred to me a couple of years ago that my story needed to have a place where people could come if they read it and understand what's possible. If you believe and have faith. And see this rock? I dug around it a while back. It's not gigantic, but they make an incredible roof. And as I dig it out, it goes back that way. Now, I'm not sure where that end exactly is. But if I dig it out right and build this up and support it as I go, I can make a room underneath that. And that room will overlook this. Because this will be moved. And as this gets moved, I can extend out my patio right here. And that will overlook Dragon's Lair. Now, Dragon's Lair, this other rock that sits below this one, it's about, it looks like 10 foot, 12 foot elevation difference. So as I go under this, if I get down low enough, either that rock will come all the way back here and I'll anchor on it, if I can, and make that a floor. Oh, wouldn't that be incredible? So that'll be the path in, and we'll see a stairwell come down that way, and a stairwell come down that way, and one go up there to the top, that ridge I built, None of that existed. That's the original ground level. So that blocks the highway and all that noise you hear in the background, all that stuff that you've been seeing just big in your face right now. But as we go on top, we want to use that for the airflow. And all the houses up there will have a flow of air. That's going to make a big difference. Yeah, that's called Dragon's Lodge. It doesn't look like it, but if you go to the cartoon, that I just drew online, you'll see Dragon's Lodge on the side of this hill. And from the top view, you'll see the islands that I created with the cave underneath it. And way out there, that's like 10 foot deep right now. And soon, Oyster Rock, I'm gonna do a video, that's the first rock I ever found. And I dug down at the time, I'd say about ground level at the time was right over there on the way down to a low spot. And this was just all crappy, nothing could grow in here, clay, like this. And I saw that rock and I went, wow, there must be more. And then one day I had a vision and I went to digging over there. And then I had more visions of where they were. And then I found them. And there's more. And each of these that are up higher can be houses because they won't flood. And that drains down quickly. So this is a means of having water come in and out and create a whole vast environment down in here. That's grapes that grow along that ridge without any trouble at all and berries already without any effort because they love that soil. And then on the top we'll have little houses that actually can also be sparsed out, tiny ones. Ideally, models for showing how we could make tiny baby houses and communities that focus on giving kids a chance to grow up in a school of skills and logic and philosophy and math and, and all those things that get banned in dark times. We have much to do. Up there, if you can imagine, high as that is, that's going to be a ridge overlooking, but on the other side, there's another dip, and that's another area to put more houses. So, I don't want to bore everybody with my stuff for the moment, but I thought I'd go ahead and explain the cartoons. And yes, live each week like he only got one left.
understand. Miracles happen. You get a chance. Incarnate. You volunteer. You come down. Thank you, Jesus. And any other person that you might know along the way that gave you help, guidance. We're all part of the same one, the body, the light that shines from within. Each of us has to know that in some form to understand life. Whether it's losing the ones you love or losing your own life and getting it back again. And should you lose it again and get it back again and keep wondering why? Why do you keep sending me back? Well, that happens to some. Good angels. Or, your work's not done. And for some, that can mean a lot of different things. I have such incredible rocks I found here in the process of digging. That's all the volcanic ash from the last series of big volcanoes like we're going into now. This is not stuff we didn't know about. No. This is just cycles. I love some of these rocks I find because they're literally just amazing evidence of some of the past we have. So look at this. Isn't this amazing? This is a crystalline rock I'm standing on. Now, when I say crystalline, I mean if you looked at that really close, you're going to see tiny little crystals. There you go, right there. See them? And all those little tiny crystals, they're little baby resonators. And they resonate over and over again. When the sun hits them, they generate high infrared, which is what you draw up through your feet and negative ions, which are much smaller than the positive ions coming out of the sky or off the sun. And so the negative ions off the earth that move through your body allow you to burn off all of that inflammation and heal and regenerate. Now those crystals you can see, but what's interesting is that they're formed as if lightning had struck and hardened them up. Hey, that's a toy. You got that out? Oh my gosh. He's such a tough guy. Now he's going to knock it back in, push it in, go ahead, and then pull it out again. It's probably as heavy as he is. And for him, that is just nothing but fun. We'll throw it in. I see. Okay, I'll throw it. And he'll swim all over the place trying to get it. So, I know. I said I was going to get off, and I didn't. So, most of you, we have about a two-minute watch time. These are my posterity's sake. So please, if you can, let your imagination go. Don't limit yourself. None of this existed two years ago. Please, do what we can to show kids coming out of the womb love all beings. Even little kids like him. He adopted me, came to my door, knocked on it. Somebody ground off his canines. They were going to feed him to the other ones. Oh, man, they're so lucky I didn't know who they were. Anyway, I'm going to go play with him, guys. You all have a good day. I may be back after one truly revealing night. I'm back again. Have a great night, guys.